loves, so welcome back to my channel. In one of my videos, I believe it was the post review type video on this painting, um, which I will not be talking about on my channel. If you are interested in finding out why I'm not talking about it anymore, I will leave that video in the description. I've said all I need to say. Um, but in that video, I had mentioned that um, I'm not too worried about having sealed the painting if there is a gem or two that's fallen off. And I said if you were interested in see how, seeing how you might be able to um, replace a gem if you've already sealed the painting to let me know. And I got some positive feedback so I figured I would go ahead and uh, do that video today. So I am replacing these two drills right here. So I have already taken um, step one and two and completed it. So step one is identify where the drills are <laughs> coming from. Um, step two, identify which color you need. I need 820. And then step three would be gather supplies. So obviously in order to replace the drills, you need the drills. Um, and then of course any tool that you may use to diamond paint. So I have my pen here and I also have a tray. Um, I've grabbed a skewer, just a regular barbecue skewer, and then I have a couple options that you can use um, to go ahead and replace that drill. So first and foremost, you're going to need to take that barbecue skewer or a toothpick or a, um, a cuticle pusher, whatever you're going to use it, um, or whatever you're going to use, you want to make sure that you remove the sealant. Just gently scraping the sealant off of the canvas so that you won't be sticking it to something that isn't sticky. So, once you have completed that step, go ahead and grab the drills that you're gonna be needing. I only need two, fortunately. So I will pour out just a few, and I will get it in frame okay there it is okay so I'm going to take there's two options you can do super glue and or nail glue but you're gonna have to be super careful not to get that anywhere else because it, it dries uh, white not clear so I don't recommend this unless you have no other choice but I'm assuming um, since you have sealed the painting you might be familiar with um, some type of sealants so I have this Mod Podge which I could use um, in a pinch as well as this um, but my preferred method of replacing sticky of any type is going to be dot stick I have done an entire video where I replaced um, I turned a double-sided adhesive painting into a poured glue painting with just this so this is my preferred method. So what you want to do is, if you have a paintbrush, great. If you don't, that's fine too. I'm just going to pour it so it's just slightly on the top and I'm going to just dab it here and dab it here. Now ordinarily I would recommend that you wait for this to dry. However, it doesn't really matter all that much because we're going to be sealing it right away. So you go ahead and just stick the drill on and then you just stick the other drill on it's going to it's going to look white but it dries clear so it doesn't matter if it kind of comes through the cracks a little bit it is okay see it's popping the drills are popping so bad I can't even do this that's that's why that's why I don't want to talk about this on <laughs> this canvas on my channel so I'm just going to do the best I can to get it to be as flat as possible. Once I am at least partially satisfied, I will go ahead and take the Mod Podge. And ordinarily, if I was sealing a portion of the painting or the whole painting, I would say you want to go ahead and um, grab a toothbrush if you're interested in seeing how I seal. I will do another video on that, but for now, the video, the only video I have sealing on my channel 
um, that's current is the one where I talk about this canvas. So if you're not interested, stay tuned. If you are interested, I will leave it in the um, description box. So I'm just going to go ahead and sort of take that stick and sort of cover the adhesive or cover the drills that I replaced as best as possible. Now with this particular canvas, this one was such a pain in the ass that I'm replacing the drills and they're trying to pop back off. So ordinarily, ideally, that wouldn't happen. Um, however, this canvas is just not my best friend. So that's what occurred for me. Hopefully that is not what occurs for you. In a ordinary situation, you would be just fine to seal a painting and not even have to worry about drills popping off or, you know, um, having to replace drills once you've already sealed the canvas. But like even as I'm looking at it right now, I can see drills that are trying to pop up even though this has been sealed. This, this canvas was just, um, you know, I'm done talking about it. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. Uh, I know it was a quick one, um, but just replacing the sticky and um, then resealing that area where they popped off. So that is it for today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this mess up. And I would like to film um, maybe one more video today, um, but we will see. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me and would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. All right guys, I hope that you are being safe, washing your hands and taking care of yourselves. Bye guys.